I'm Karen Algersma at Madrona Farm in Saanich, where they're getting ready for the Chef Survival Event. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, jewelry inspired by the treasures found on our beaches. Salt Spring celebrates inclusion this weekend with their annual Pride Fest. And we have some superheroes on this week's edition of The Breakdown. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Did you hear that? Don't be chicken. No, stay and enjoy 30 minutes of food, events, entertainment right here on Go Island because we have such a fabulous show for you today. We are at one of my favorite farms, Madrona Farms. Um, and I'm excited, I can feel the, the buzz. There's a big event happening, Natalie, this weekend, Chef Survival. I'm sure most people have heard of Chef Survival by, by now, but just in case someone hasn't, tell us about it. Okay, Chef Survival Challenge is an event that reconnects people to the land. It takes 15 of the best chefs in Victoria, and this year we're having firemen, because I'm sure many of you have heard there's two things firemen do really well, cook with fire and put out fires. Well, we're hoping there's no fires on the farm, but. We've got some of the best chefs and they're going to be using the firemen as their wranglers and we have one fireman who has actually been elected by his peers to cook on that day. The whole event is catered and then the chefs, they run around and forage around the 27 acre Madrona and they collect the vegetables right. they need to create masterpieces which then are auctioned off by their fan club. But everybody gets to eat, there's so much food and it's going to be sunny. It's kind of like Tough Mudder meets Iron Chef. These chefs have to go like over hill and over dale. They have to go like, you know, get in, get in a boat and paddle across the water. Yes. And then they have to go find their food and come back yes. and cook it. Like it really is they such hurdle, a- They hurdle, hurdle, crawl, climb, hang, balance to bring us our dinners. It's and wildly we, entertaining. Yes. Wildly, yes. <laughs> and very delicious at the end. Yes, yes. Now one of the reasons we do this every year is to raise money for what? Farmland conservation, so the funds raised at this event will go to the Big Dream Farm Fund. The Big Dream Farm Fund is split up into two components, 30% for sustainable farming education and 70% to farmland acquisition. Not only will you be eating delicious food, have a lot of fun, probably laugh out loud all day long, but the money raised will make a huge difference in saving land, inspiring young farmers, and bringing farm fresh food to your table in a big way. We're gonna meet a couple of the hunky firemen in just a Excellent. minute, aren't we? Excellent. I'm excited about that. But first, we are gonna head up to Duncan, where Suchetta Singh met a jewelry artist who gets her inspiration from the beach. Mm, I love farm fresh food. Thank you for that story, Suchetta. I have an obsession with beach glass, so. I love hearing about people who are inspired by objects on the beach, especially beach class. I also love to meet people who have the same passion for food as I do. Uh, we're here at Madrona Farm getting all ready for the big chef survival event that's happening here on Sunday. There's tons of tickets left. Come support local food, support a really amazing event. It's so easy because you're going to have a tremendous amount of fun and eat good food. Now, the firemen of Saanich are involved this year. Now, first of all, what made you decide to be to be part of this event this year? Uh, well, we were really lucky to be asked to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, and and then it, it really kind of goes with, uh, you know, everything that we kind of stand for, you know, a sustainable community and, and sustainable land, sustainable farming, mm -hmm. I think is a big part of that. And yeah. so it kind of is is a, the other component that we don't contribute, uh, the farmers contribute, so we just wanted to come here and show our support. It's just so fun to have you guys as part of the event this year um, for many reasons, but one of them is Shaw produced a show called Cooking with Fire that I have loved watching over the last year and a half, and it amazes me how much the kitchen at a fire department is almost like the kitchen is in a home. It's a gathering place, it's a place to cook food. Are you guys big cooks at the Sandwich Fire Department? Uh, yeah, we, we, well, we cook of uh, one thing we do, but we do everything together. Uh, we're just one big family, so um, gone are the days of the, the takeout, the, 
yeah. send, sending the junior guy out to the uh, <laughs> to the fast food restaurant and bring him dinner back. Uh, we're really more conscious nowadays about uh, cooking from scratch yeah. and uh, creating these great meals. Um, and yeah, it's like, when you look at something like this, uh, it's a really great thing to be a part of. Yeah. And it takes us out of our comfort zone, um, hugely, as well as the chefs, I think, too. Yeah. And you'll keep us safe. So, you know, if anyone falls into the water or, you know, burns themselves, we have the heroes right here. Um, now, we're going to talk about the event in just a minute and uh, how you guys are going to be part of the uh, survival, both as cooks and as, you know, in, out there trying to forge the food. In fact, they're not even allowed back there because we're keeping it a secret where all the good vegetables are. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna head to Salt Spring Island where another huge community event is happening. That's right, the Pride Festival. And our very own James Green headed over there to find out all the fun things that'll be going on on Salt Spring Island. Thanks for that story, James Green, Salt Spring Island. How fun does that weekend sound? Almost as fun as the weekend that's going to be happening here at Madrona Farms in Saanich, where uh, chefs and firemen are coming together to find food, cook food, celebrate food, and you're all invited. Now, you guys have never done this before. I have seen it with my own eyes. It is not easy. What have you done to train to get out there? And Because they have to go out there and find all their vegetables and then pick them and then come back and cook it all. It's quite hilarious. What are you doing to prepare? Well, actually, what we're doing is this Thursday we're going to go to Curtis's house and we're going to buy a whole bunch of fresh good vegetables and kind of start cooking some variations to kind of see what we can create. We're going to show you a little clip from last year's event. is that doesn't it just seem like you can be part of a reality TV show that's actually real and you actually get to eat the food not just watch it on television get your tickets this Sunday at Madrona Farm we have to take a quick break but please stay with us because when we come back we're gonna tell you about an event that's happening in where Powell River To go Island. We're here at Madrona Farm uh, getting all ready for the big chef survival event. And this year, the Saanich Fire Department is participating. Oh, yes, cooking with fire right here on Madrona Farm. Now, people want tickets, and you should get one because it's an extraordinary event. How can they get tickets? Uh, go online or at the gates. There's lots of tickets and there's lots of room for lots of people, so come on down. That's right, so check out the website that's on your screen right now. Oh, yeah, go get tickets. And you know, we are a spontaneous city. If you didn't get tickets, just come. There'll be tickets here. I mean, it's a huge farm. There's lots of room. And why should everybody come, sir? Uh, just have a great time. Bring, bring your uh, family, bring your kids. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot, a lot to learn here as well. We are now going to head to Powell River because even though it is back to school, summer's not over. The sun's still out, the sky's still blue, and that means there's more events happening. And did you know that there's a very cool event that's happening in Powell River? I'm telling you, it's going to be worth getting in your car and driving to. I find that Powell River is one of those really unique communities that kind of brings together history, uh, the present, and the future. And that's what that festival is all about. Check it out. Go online. Very innovative idea. Uh, here we are at another innovative festival as it's brewing. That's right. Behind us, they're getting ready for the big chef survival event. You can see all the different things that they're setting up. It's kind of like an obstacle course, and the fire department here in Saanich is going to be part of it this year. Uh, so are you guys a little uh, scared when you kind of turn around and you see stuff like that here at the farm? I think I'm excited for this kind of stuff. I'm maybe a little bit scared trying to find all the veggies and figure out what's what. <laughs> but uh, it's a big area, but uh, I'm excited. Yeah, but, but, yeah, a little bit nervous. That's awesome. Now, do you have a passion for cooking? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I think uh, I think most most people do, um, especially us at the fire hall. But. We have to take a very small break, but go nowhere because when we come back, the breakdown has superheroes on it. Oh yeah.
The breakdown. You never know who's going to be on it. Even superheroes. Well, I've got a couple of superheroes right here with me today at Madrona Farm. Uh, Sandage Fire Department. They're going to be part of the big, huge chef survival event that's happening right here on Sunday. You know, this is what's so great about coming to a real working farm. You get to hang out on a tractor. Don't you guys love this tractor? It's great, yeah. Like being a kid again. I know it is. Uh, if people want to come to the event, how do they get tickets? Just remind them. Uh, you get them online at the website, or you can get them at the gate. And who should come to this event? Everybody. Yeah, everybody. So get your tickets, come support local agriculture, have a lot of fun, and honestly, bring the whole family. It's one of those events that everybody enjoys. I want to thank you so much for watching. It means so much to us that you take time out of your busy day to hang out with us. If you have any thoughts or feedback, you know where to find us, Facebook, Twitter, email us, go to our website. And if you see us around, even if you see us here at Madrona Farm, you know what to do. Say hi. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Men's Wardrobe by DG Brenner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J. 